I think he wants something else. Maybe he's thirsty. I got a juice box. Do you think he likes rainbow berry juice? I don't think so, Lord. That's just a regular old. It worked. I should be. <laughs> oh, yeah? I'll get you, Cassie. <laughs> I think Slurpee swallowed too much water. Are you sure? Uh huh. Maybe he's hungry. I have some sprinkled cupcakes. They're really good. Mmm. Mmm. Fresh dragon corn. <laughs> well, I'm almost fresh. And I have some french fries, but I don't have any ketchup because I used it all on my peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, ketchup on peanut butter? No, yum. You sure that's okay for boilers to eat? Well, well my sister's boiler only eats dragon berries. See? He likes them. So do I. <laughs> he just has a belly. Baby boilers need to have their dragon berries mashed. <laughs> And so good! I like dragon berries, and they feel squishy between my toes. And gooey in my fingers. <laughs> and it's great for making a berry bomb! <laughs> You're feeling better now, aren't you, Slurpee? <laughs> Take care of our business, and we're easy, but it's very, very fun, too! <laughs> I wish, I wish to use this ride to go back home until next time. Come on, Em, let's feed Flash. Here's his turtle plates, Max. Flash doesn't want that yucky stuff. I brought him some dragon berries, but they're too big for him to eat. How are we gonna reach the cat tail? We have to keep going put on our carts. Or maybe Hoppy the Unicorn can... The sky is falling, and it's delicious. Can somebody splat me with syrup? Oh. Saturday chores are the worst. It's like turning a whole Saturday into a Monday. It's not so bad, George. It's cleaning. Uh, <laughs> now it might take all day. Uh, bad, huh? Yeah, you're not exactly being fresh. Oh well, tough luck, better you than. Oh, snow, baby. Here, Mr. Snow. Oh, no, not yet. It's probably getting bad. Wait, Snow, don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. I don't like that either. The rules are rules, you know? Ah! <laughs> I do, Snow. Come on, give a cat a break. I don't need a bath. I have a tongue. I know. That's why you smell like cat food. So, Happy Feast is a meal and a cologne. Ah! Look at me right here. Hold still. I'm taking all of you with me. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it, Snow? But I don't know how to blow dry. Now, I'm here. Are you kidding? Our chores are done. It's not even noon, and we have a whole Saturday ahead of us. Come on. Oh, dear. You better get you dried off before you catch. Achoo! Achoo! Really, Frederick, I'm fine. Not according to this or not. Right. Until that fever comes down, you're staying in bed. So what about my chores? It won't look like home of the year if nobody does the cooking. Clean, clean. Just rest easy, dear. Boys and I will take care of everything. 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 <laughs> Mother feeling ill at the plus. Keep this house looking like a home of the year. Until she's better, we'll be doing all the cooking, cleaning, babysitting, and, um, hmm, what would your mother be doing right now? Let's see. Uh, Dad, that's not peanut butter. Oh, my. Neither is this. It's empty. Ha! She'd be shopping. Everyone get your jackets. We're going to the grocery store. Hmm. All right. We have peanut butter. Now, what else? Uh, grocery list. Oh, we'll do fine enough. It's a shopping trip. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Oh, my! new things. Meet new friends. Ooh, let's go. At TBS Kids, the fun never ends. Yes. There's a big red dog, big ideas. Ooh. Dragons that love to fly, and cats that make reading fun. It's a new thing, there you go. Take a magical adventure. Seven days a week, just gets better and better on TBS Kids. It was a mighty gorgeous sunset. It was truly a beautiful sight. All the friendly small housetops of Whoville were glowing bright in the changing light. All the Who's who lived here in Whoville paused and smiled as the sun sank down and the purple shadow of Mount Crumpet crept across the farmlands beyond the town. It was a mighty peaceful sunset until old Josiah happened to sniff. <laughs> and he whispered to his wife, Mariah, would you also take a whiff? And Josiah and Mariah double sniffed. <laughs> And they said, I wonder if... But they really didn't wonder. They knew it was terribly true. They knew that the sour sweet wind was coming back. And what the sour sweet wind would do. Inside, children. <laughs> Always starts when that sour sweet wind begins to howl. Sour sweet wind across the tree stumps on the wrong side of Punker's Pond. When that wind wakes up the green grumps from their sleep inside the tree stumps, and all the green grumps start a growling. And that growling and that howling ruffles and crumples up the pond. 
boss and the old punker's pond gets ruffled, ruffled by that howling and that growling that always disturbs the hackin' cracks. The hackin' cracks start a yowl. Yowling, the hackin' cracks, but that ruffling, grunting, howling, growling always irritates the bitch. A report of this sort. I'm sure gonna miss that Grinch night ball, but that wind will be coming back someday. I'll be coming back someday. <laughs> Look, Mariah, there's you, Mariah. What an unusual way to come back from the euphemism. <laughs> Still, some sweet wind has pulled away. All the grief around the tropics all the way. Now I'm in the rich, but not too far away. Hey, go to the rich, it's gone away. Sing the high school, your wind has pulled away. Sing the high school, you sing about the And I'll prove to you, yelled the South-Going Zanks, that I can stand here in the prairie of Prax for 59 years. For I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in South-Going school. Never budge, that's my rule. Never budge in the least, not an inch to the west, not an inch to the east. I'll stay here not budging, I can and I will, if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Well, of course, the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, the new highway came through, and they built it right over those two stubborn zacks and left them there, standing unbudged in their tracks. Here he is, the Shangri-Lama! Greetings! I am the Shangri-Lama, here to reveal life's big questions to the Ice Age herd. This is the guy who's gonna save us. Before the Big Bang. Incoming! But first, down my dog, <laughs> funky chicken, mashed potato. Could you help me, please? My nose is dangerously close to my butt. <gasps> Will the snares of love finally snag Sid? You're the algae of my eye. I'm getting butterflies. I'm getting nauseous. Can Granny keep up with all this electric excitement? I've been struck by lightning more times. Uh, Granny! The you've had hot breakfast. Will this giant asteroid flatten the herd? An asteroid is going to destroy the whole planet. <laughs> Find all the answers you seek in Ice Age Collision Course. In theaters Friday, rated PG. There's only one Batman, and I should know because I'm Batman. I'm Batman, and you're not. Uh, sorry, don't beat me up. Batman's got the cape, and the cave, and the car. But if he wants to take all the bad guys down, he's got to team up with his butler, a boy sidekick, Catman! Whoa! You're darn right, whoa! And the new commissioner of Gotham. Hi, Barbara Gordon. Together, no supervillain will catch them with their pants down. I can only look you in the eyes right now. The Lego Batman Movie, in theaters now. Ready PG.